In the latest in our look at leadership and what it means to people involved in elite sport in conjunction with our partners at Simple Recruitment Services, I'm delighted to be joined by the head of the Somerset County Cricket Club Talent Pathway, Steve Snell. Good morning. Good morning, Spence. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Let's start at the start then. We're here to talk about leadership. What does leadership mean to you? Well, I think you know, leadership you know, comes in many different forms. And I think about some of the, the leaders, I guess, that I've followed in the past and I guess how I want to be as a leader, but I think the engagement, the inclusivity, um, that real purpose, but also following a, a clear vision uh, are some of the, the key attributes, I, I guess, spring to mind when I think about leadership. You, you touched on a few of them there. In essence, what makes a good leader? I think you know people got to have absolute trust in, in, in that person. But at, at, some, at sometimes it's providing direction, other times it's you know asking the right questions, times choosing and knowing when to stay silent but also generally most leaders have got great teams around them and a lot of skill um, and quality within those teams and allowing those teams to to be efficient by actually providing the the shape the structure and the dynamic where those people can flourish and providing autonomy within those teams i think is really important too conversely what makes an ineffective leader I think, you know, again, people's perception of leadership is different. So, well, one one way some person might lead, uh, other people might not. It might not resonate with them. So, I think it's about being really authentic to your your style. And I think when people aren't authentic as leaders, it, it's very easy to see through that. But I think, you know, ineffective leadership. I guess you know you provide kind of fragmentation in teams. I think effective leadership. You know, you bring those together and and you push forward and you improve. So. I think it's, it's very difficult to, to suggest what's ineffective, but I, I come back to having a clear vision and, and providing your team with that engagement and, and value is always a good starting point. Who's had the biggest influence on you or, or made the biggest impression on you in your career, first as a player but now as a coach? I've been, been really fortunate to work with a number of really good leaders you know, across business and sport. Equally fortunate enough to, to work with some leaders that potentially you know, didn't gel uh, as we might have liked to. And, and I think that's where it's important from a, a growth perspective is understanding actually there's some aspects of leadership which you know, don't sit as well with you and some which I think, well, that's, that's brilliant. I, I really appreciate how that's worked and, and taking the best bits of the good and the bad uh, and I guess trying to bring it into my own leadership. But I couldn't necessarily pinpoint anyone who's been more outstanding than anybody else or equally as a negative somebody who's been really poor but leaders have got certain attributes and certain strengths which if done done well uh, I think providing a real point of difference. What have you learned about yourself since becoming head of talent pathway? Well lots really I think it's you know it's a job which of you know huge responsibility in terms of managing the, the shape and the future direction of, of Somerset cricket and the, the talent pathway into the side and I think you know when I started the role I'd have been far more competitive in terms of the actual the games that we were we were playing in than I am now and I think certainly I've had to learn to be a bit more patient more empathetic to the demands of what young people have and what are going through in their lives and, and equally the way they learn learning isn't linear and it's not the same for, for everybody and I think that applies to to adults as much as it does to children and finding better um, and more diverse methods to connect with people in order to help them flourish and help them improve I think has been a real key learning attribute for myself and and just probably recognizing that the way that I learn and my frame of reference although slightly relevant in terms of the sphere of cricket actually people will learn and receive and digest information very differently to, to how I do so I've had to work really hard to ensure that I'm connecting with individuals as opposed to just how I prefer to communicate. What's the hardest decision you've had to make in your time in the role? I think any decision where you know, I had to release a number of players you know, from during my time here at Somerset um, you know, from the, the academy or you know, from the, the, the junior players coming through and that's very difficult because you know, coaches, you know, what we want is the best for our young players and young people so any time we had to give somebody a really tough decision that you know unfortunately your journey is going to end that's a that's a that's a really difficult news to give and of course it's really hard news to receive from the young players but yeah I think that's you know that never sits nicely at any point um, and I don't think it ever will in the future either